This is going to be a basic video that's going to show you how I draw out the, um, the mousetrap boat in CAD. Um, you don't have to follow this step by step, but this will give you a really good idea of how to begin in SketchUp. So if we look at the materials, you'll see that we're going to start with one piece of styrofoam that's 12 inches by 18 by 2. So what I'm going to go ahead is go ahead and click on camera, standard view, ISO. I'm going to go ahead and draw a 12 inch by 18 inch rectangle. Go ahead and click on zoom extents. And we want this two inches tall. So this gives me a rough idea of what my styrofoam is going to look like. So you do have restrictions. You have maximums and minimums. Um, so it's 18 inches uh, for the length or 18 inches for the width. Um, I'm going to do 18 inches um, this direction. So if I'm looking at it, up here is going to be the front of my boat and then back here will be the back. Before I go ahead and get started, I'm going to draw the line of symmetry. So this way I know that my boat is perfectly symmetrical. So I'm going to be using the boat um, that has kind of a curved in. It's pretty tall and has um, two propellers in the center. So what I'm going to do is measure the boat and I can see that from the back it is uh, 12 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use the tape measure tool, type in 12 inches. And I can see that that's where I want to be. <clears throat> so I can go ahead and draw a line straight across. And if I'm looking at the back part, I can see that it's uh, one and a quarter inch in. And I'll do the same thing for the other side. Again, we want to make sure that this is symmetrical. And whatever we're doing on one side, we are doing on the other. Now, the inset part is only nine and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my pencil, click the start, and I'm going to type in 9.5 inches. And a little uh, trick here, I can hover over this dot and I can see that it snaps to here and then I can go ahead and bring that down and I can go ahead and erase my line of symmetry if I wanted to. There we go. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is the point. So let's see here. I've drawn the point is about eight inches to here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the arc tool. I'm going to start here. And I can see that eight inches is about here. And it kind of curves in just a slight little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here pretty symmetrical, so I'm going to go ahead and erase the line of symmetry and erase this center line here. So this is what my boat looks like. So technically, what we would want to do is get rid of this, get rid of that, and we can see that this is where our boat is started. But um, we also need to make sure that we can use this, or that we can actually fit our two propellers um, into this area right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the diameter, which is four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my circle tool. And half, the radius is half of the circumference, which is what I measured at four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and type in two inches, and that will give me my circle. I'm going to go ahead and click the circle, click on the move tool, and I'm going to see if I can fit this on here. All right. I'm going to actually, what I might do is actually click on the circle itself. Type in two inches, and I'm going to go ahead and probably do the same thing over here. Okay. Let's start somewhere along here and click. So I can see that I do have my two circles, which is going to be my two propellers, and I 
also want to see if I'm going to have enough for my side. So if I'm looking at the part and I'm looking at, if I'm looking at this direction, it's the piece that comes up to about here. So I'm going to measure that, I think, be about five and a half by about four. So let's see if I can. No, that's about four inches. So yeah, that would work because I can always move my circle up. inches and then down here let me actually I'm going to erase this circle and I'm actually going to paste a line here all right so it looks like I should be able to build my entire boat from this so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to erase this. I just wanted to see if conceptually it looked like um, I could fit it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that material. Go ahead and get rid of that material. I'm going to go ahead and double click, or I'm sorry, triple click on my propellers. Right click and make them a group. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Make these a group. And I'm going to get these out of here so that I can work on the side part. So like I said before, that was about five and a half inches. So I'm gonna come over here to 5.5. Yep, there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, make a line across here line across here and it is four inches tall four inches <clears throat> and four inches all right so if we're looking at the example we can see that the hole for where the axle is going to go is somewhere in the middle so to find something in the middle we are going to say x marks the spot I'm going to go ahead and start here, and I'm going to go ahead and end here. <coughs> the circumference, or I'm sorry, the diameter of this is, that piece is about, we want it more than three feet, so let's say about an inch just to make sure. So we'll do half an inch for our radius. So we'll do 0.5, enter. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this over here. And I am going to push my axle through to here. So this is going to simulate the axle going through the center. <coughs> Let me go back to the propellers, and what I want to do is I want to rotate them so that they are 90 degrees. So I am going to look for the protractor, the rot rotate. I'm going to go ahead and click here, click here. Oh, wrong side. Let me click here, straight down, and go ahead and type in 90 and then enter. And I can go ahead and do the same thing here. Click on the propeller, click on rotate, click on one end, go straight down, click a second time, and type in 90, and it will rotate at 90 degrees. And next thing I can do is select one of my propellers, click on move, and I can locate the center do my best to try to center it on here. Oh. We'll just ignore that for now. Okay. I want to make sure oh, that we had them somewhat centered. OK. 
Okay. So we have pretty much the gist of our boat. Uh, from here, we want to make sure that we can also look at the bottom. And what you can do is you can actually draw a very thin rectangle, which will simulate the plastic that would then go down to the water. So again, this is a very rough example, um, but this would give you a real life uh, concept design of what your boat will look like. Please don't forget to save your work periodically. And if you have your any questions, please make sure you're showing your call.